How was your maths lecture on Tuesday? It was interesting, actually. We looked at cryptography. It was about how ciphers are made and some of their uses. Ciphers? Yeah. A cipher is another word for a code. Uh, you mean like computer codes, HTML, that kind of thing? Uh, no, not exactly. It was about the history of code making. Codes that people have used to send information to each other in letters or codes for government documents. We looked at pretty much everything, from substitution ciphers to more complex codes. Right. What's a substitution cipher? A substitution cipher is when you replace the original letters in a message with other characters. Like using Z to mean A, that kind of thing. Yes, that's right. But most codes aren't quite that simple, because each substitution cipher can use more than one key. Uh, I don't get that. Can you explain what a key is? Okay. Well, the key is the component which tells you the operation to perform to create the code, like moving a letter a certain number of places. Oh, right. So I guess if you use one substitution cipher. Then that might make Z mean A, but like another cipher could make Z mean E. Yes, exactly. The thing is that without a crib, it's almost impossible to break a code that uses a lot of keys. A crib is a type of answer key that tells you how to convert the cipher text into a message that can be understood. Sorry, what does cipher text mean? Cipher text means the coded message. Whatever you wanted to keep secret in the first place. Okay, interesting stuff. Did they recommend any books on it?